Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're gonna go into how to blur a license plate in Final Cut Pro. And this is the most recent version, but let me show you a demo first before we talk about it. I just did this one a minute ago. Here we go. You'll see that the pixelated box is actually tracking on that license plate there. So let me go through it a little bit slower. All right, there you see that pixelated box is actually covering up the plate and it's tracking it pretty nicely. And it did this automatically. So this is a pretty cool feature that was just added to Final Cut Pro. Okay, let me close that. Let's go into Final Cut, figure out what version we're on. And we are in 10.6 and this was just added a week ago. It's pretty awesome. It makes life a lot easier. You don't have to go out to motion and come back. And uh, I like it a lot. So let me grab a piece of video here. Drag it into the timeline. Let me mute this volume down here. And let's get to a good spot in the video. Let's go about right here. And uh, let me chop it up here. I can make it a little bit bigger so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay, so we have an RV here and I kind of want to demonstrate how to actually pixelate or block out that license plate there. So this is perfect if you need to blur your own plate or someone else's plate that you don't want, you know, on your video footage here. So what you're gonna do is go over here to the effects browser thing here and just type in pixelate, so P-I-X-E-L, it'll come up. And let me get to a good spot in the video here so you can actually see it. And now what you're gonna do is drag this, instead of dragging it onto your clip here, like we used to do, you're actually gonna drag it into the, into the frame of the video here. And you'll get a little object here. And it'll try its best to kind of find out what you're trying to do here, but if you get close enough in the size of the shape here, I would definitely just let go. So let me let go. And now you'll notice we have a, a, a tracker and a shape thing here. So now what you can do is actually resize this here to fit the shape of that license plate. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Get it down over here. And let me zoom in here a little bit. Let's go to 100. And yeah, let's get there. Okay, we're resizing, getting it right there. And you'll notice there's some extra pixelization here and we're trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Why is it not kind of zooming in or framing to our box here? What you're gonna do is click on the shape button here and it has an exterior box here that you can actually drag in to reduce the size of that kind of feathering of the effect. And since I'm blurring a license plate, I'm just gonna make it basically line up exactly with that of the box I have there, or close as possible, right there. That's good enough. Then we'll go back to our tracker here and I kind of move it around and get it to, you know, the shape I kind of want to cover up this license plate. All right, now we got it pretty much lined up here. And the next thing you're gonna have to do is actually hit this analyze button here on the left corner. So go ahead and hit that analyze button. So what Final Cut Pro is gonna do now is it's gonna analyze this object here and it's gonna try to track it. It's gonna go through the full clip forward and backwards and make sure that it's actually tracking as well as possible. So let's go ahead and do that, analyze. Okay, so it's done with this analysis. Let's go ahead and play it through and see what we got here. Okay, let me drag slowly through this video clip here and you'll see how it kind of tracks that license plate very nicely. And of course it did it all automatically for, it, for us once we set up the shape that we wanted. That is awesome. And it's built into Final Cut Pro now. So I just want to put a heartfelt thank you to Apple <laughs> for just adding this. It's so nice that we can actually do it within our, our clip here. And all you gotta do is kind of just figure out what you wanna do. You can do text and other stuff, which I'll do a, a probably more in-depth tutorial on this a little bit later, once I get the hang of doing some more advanced stuff. I knew I wanted to show this quickly as possible because something that you do is you wanna blur something, maybe a face or a license plate. And it's just something that, you know, you wanna be able to search for YouTube and find it quick. And I figured that's what we'd do here. Okay, I think we're finished with the tutorial for today. I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget, thumbs up, comment, all that jazz, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace and aloha.